you still don't understand how you lost. <clears throat> the Democrats are having a hard time. They're having a difficult time dealing with rejection. Um, the um, overwhelming majority of the American people kicked them out of office, said we want no part of 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 your um, of, of of your uh, leftism. It was a clear and cut rejection. And they're having a hard time, dif uh, a hard time dealing with it. So we're gonna talk about it. Um, we're gonna show a clip from CNN from Scott Jennings and how he got into it. But Catherine, um, Catherine uh, Rample from uh, the Washington Post. So we're gonna talk about it. But before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button, share this out so we can get this information out there. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber, and hit that alarm bell so you know when I'm putting out new stuff. Also, check out my link tree in the description. It has a link to my Patreon. That's where I talk about things that I can't talk about here. There's also a link to my Instagram and my X account, so follow me there as well. All right, so let's get into this news now. This comes from Zero Hedge um, from Tyler Durden. He reports that CNN political commentator Scott Jennings and um, Washington Post com columnist uh, Catherine Rample engaged in a heated debate on Thursday CNN Newsnight. Jennings called out the delusional Washington Post columnist for still not understanding why the MAGA landslide happened in the first place. Uh, of course, because that will make them have to look inside themselves and find out what the issues are, which of course is something they would that would they would never ever do. But um let's let's uh let's check out this clip here. I mean, because again, th no interception here. <laughs> None. But let's let's play this clip here. The rest of this transition unfolds, whether it's picking attorney general or, or any of these uh, other high level positions. I think I think we ought to all look at this as a wise decision, a good decision. And for everybody out there wanting Trump to pivot or change or somehow whatever you want him to do, respect he just he just won a mandate from the you, you hear that slight she threw in respect the rule of law. What are you talking about? I can't stand these people. These people are ridiculous. These people are ridiculous. The American people to execute face. on the program that he laid out in this election. It wasn't particularly close. And I think he ought to put people in place who are going to do it. That's what the he people are after his for enemies. Him. I mean, that's 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 not that are, are you are you serious? Are you serious? These people are not handling defeat well. That's, that's, yes, he yes, did. Yes, he did. It is explicitly. That's not what he ran on. That's, 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 that's not what he ran on. Look yes, at what he okay. said in the past yeah. week. He literally said that he was going to 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 exact you, you, vengeance. You still don't understand how you lost. He ran on don't immigration. Don't me. I'm not a Democrat. He ran on, imi yep. he yes, ran on immigration. He ran, he ran on inflation. I'm not here paid to represent one, one of the many things side. he I'm ran on in addition he ran, to He ran on the issues that people care about. He ran on Scott. the economy. He I, ran nobody's on immigration. saying that he didn't run on those things. Uh, uh, he said, because they literally asked him before, are you going to get revenge? Are you going to exact revenge on this pe people that were against you? He was like, my re he said clear cut my revenge will be fixing this economy making america great again that will be my revenge he he said that but of course the, they were never they were never report on that things but he also ran on vengeance yes he did also run no, did. on going after the the people who went after him no, he didn't. Let's and journalists. It was a key feature of he all of his speeches. Yes. Scott, Scott, he said, literally said, I am your retribution. The Biden crime family, lock her up. Went after Sessions repeatedly for not doing what he wanted Sessions to do, which was to indict Hillary or whoever he wanted to. You can want his campaign to have been about, you know, tax reform and things like that. That is not what he said on the stump time after time after time. He talked about going after his enemies. I'm heartened by the fact that the left still cannot figure this out. Even if you just take the January 6th part of it, he he made that a big part of his campaign, that he would, if he were in power, pardon those people. You can't say so saying you're going to pardon someone is a clear difference from saying you're going to go after your enemies, which is what y'all are trying to allude to. How are you, you can't how you can't conflate the two. I mean, these people are ridiculous, man. It's sickening. I can't stand CNN. Thank goodness for um, um, level headed Scott Jennings. Hey, that that was not on the agenda. It absolutely was. What was the campaign about? Why did. Tens okay, but do you think that he's going to do those other things when it comes to the Department of Justice? I, I, I don't know what he's going to do. I'm not a big part of the him. campaign. I, I was, just... was being a victim. Like that was a big part of it. Was his victimhood? They're coming for you, but they're going to hold on. This is this is this is funny that the left is talking about victimhood. That's all they push is victimhood and identity politics, and it didn't work for them. No, he's not talking about being a victim. This man was literally shot, man. 
and he's not he's not talking about being a victim of that. Man, y'all need to stop. Y'all need to stop. Have to get through me. That was his whole line. That is all about the enemies list. That no, is all. I yes, totally dis- is. I totally disagree. The deep state. That, that's I mean, not. This is, this is the stuff that he talked about on the stump. Unless okay, he- the deep state is something totally different. The administrative state, um, the bureau, the permanent bureaucracy is something totally different from exacting revenge on your so-called enemies. Fixing government is not exacting revenge. It's fixing government so it benefits the people and not the permanent bureaucratic class. You just don't want to listen to him. Those no, are his I, own I, I, I listen. I listen Scott, plenty. Do you, Scott, do you, if you believe that people who violated the Capitol on January 6th committed a crime, which I would hope you would because they weren't invited in the way they claimed they were, right? They, they were not there. They didn't go through security. They... Trespassing at most trespassing at most except for aside for a few people that might have destroyed property might have been some property damage ass- at, at, trespassing at most y'all are y'all need to stop and y'all know this way the rest of us have to go through to get into the capitol they were prosecuted they were convicted and now they're serving jail time and he has said repeatedly that they're political prisoners and he is going to spring them right so what does that tell you about how he's going to weaponize the Justice Department and on whose behalf? F- how is so now freeing someone is weaponizing? How <laughs> Joe Biden sick in the DOJ uh, um, after Trump? That's not weaponizing government. No, but um, freeing people, innocent people that possibly only trespass. That's that that is weaponizing government. They, oh my God, th- this is ridiculous. On behalf of people who committed crimes. For him, for him, not for anybody else. I mean, I I admire your, I don't know if I want to call it naivete or optimism that Trump is going to run on the policies you care about, about deregulation and tax cuts and whatnot. That's just not what his campaign was about. Well, I, 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 with, with, with all due respect, I've, I've, I've run more campaigns than you, and I know what campaigns are about, and I know why people walk into voting booths. Why people totally walk wrong. into why people walk into voting totally booths wrong. and what Trump plans to do when handed the presidency are two different things. All right, guys, stop. We need to stop. This is ridiculous. They they, they are they are reaching. That's all they got. But in the seven stages, agree. Rample's repeated denial and comments on uh, Trump's campaign seem rooted in shock and denial rather than reality. It's true. And this is the <laughs> seven stages of grief that I work on. I work on this all the time with my clients. Um, you got shock and denial, um, pain and guilt, anger and bargaining, depression, the upward turn, reconstruction and um, working through, and then you got acceptance and hope. But it can continue on. It's not. It, it can go to. It can go either. It can go um, either way. You know. It can start off at depression. It can start off at anger. It can go either way. It's, it's no really set way of how people um, handle handle grief. But the fact is, Trump won on the economy and immigration messaging, as reflected in polling data showing his dominance across all battleground states and his overall popular vote win. Trump saw massive gains with Black and Hispanic voters especially younger men. Um, so what we got here, we got a, a, just a clip here that's talking about the gains and stuff. Um, let's, let's play this clip. Let's, let's check this clip out. The breadth of the improvement that Donald Trump had. Holy Toledo. All right. Trump gained ground in 49 states and the District of Columbia compared to 2020. I went back through the record books. When was the last time a party gained in so many different places? You have to go all the way back to 1992 when Bill Clinton improved upon Michael Dukakis's performance in 49 states plus the District of Columbia. The bottom line is no matter where you looked on the map, Kate Baldwin, no matter where you looked, Donald Trump was improving on where he did four years ago except for Washington state. It is no wonder that at this particular point, he looks like he's going to be the first Republican to win the popular vote since George W. Bush back in 2004. And to pull facts, facts, facts. Um, the shift to Trump was historic. Look at all this red. Look at all of this. Look at all this. What's astonishing is that Asian, black, Hispanic, and white voters all moved towards Trump. Harris only received a bump in white liberal cat ladies, of course, as the Financial Times uh, uh, said, they said, quote, Harris only increased her vote share among the over 65s um, and the white college educated women. 
What did voters care about? Well, it boiled down to immigration and the economy, but yet they're still talking about retribution, which is something Trump said is he, is he don't care about. He care about being successful. But um, it's going to be very hard for white college-educated liberal women with allegedly 130 IQs, <laughs> allegedly, right, um, to accept that the harris waltz campaign was one of the biggest campaign blunders in modern american politics dems can thank barack obama's marxism and alex soros for blowing his father's money on terrible woke strategies the people don't care about this woke stuff um as he kneels to davos elites let these folks live in denial and cling to their radical far left conspiracy theories because it's just going to continue to hurt them it's just going to continue to hurt them during the next election. I think they're going to double down on this crazy woke nonsense and and it's not and, and people are just turned off from it. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this. Leave your comments down below. Like, share, and subscribe and check out jjthepsychotherapist.com for the latest in news. Until next time. Peace.